Better go and paint this bad boy, haven't we? Hello, 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 and welcome to Your Beauty. Very, very, very quick disclaimer for this video. I have got a rotten cold. So I might look crap, I might sound a bit bad, but I'm going through it because I've got something quite cool. I do kind of have another disclaimer for you, but I'm gonna give you that one in a second. I'm gonna give you that one in a second. Before we go any further, if you love the beauty, if you love collecting, this is the place for you. Make sure to like, share, subscribe to the video, drop your comments below, and as I always say as well, come over see me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Right, now for that other disclaimer. So the title of this video might be in a little bit clickbaity, but don't, don't run off yet. Don't run off yet. You'll learn a lot, I think. You'll probably learn from how I have painted the team and it will probably show you how you can do it better. I'm not the greatest at this stuff. I like to think I'm quite good at designing, but when it comes to physical drawing or painting, I'm absolutely rubbish. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take you on a journey. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how I did it, what I used, what I bought, the process of me doing it, talk you through it, so hopefully you can do it better. So yes, this is how to paint your own Subutio team. However, probably more how not to do what I did when I painted my Subutio team. So, so we might as well jump straight into it, I suppose. The first thing we had to do was jump on the internet and order the team. So I needed a team to print. That's come through the post. I'll show you that in a minute. And while that was on the way, I popped down to Hobbycraft. So everyone told me, done some type on the internet, and I sort of got told, use Hambro paints. They're the best paints. So I went in the model shop, went in Hobbycraft, went in the little independent model shop as well, looked at Hambro paints. Couldn't get the colours I wanted because I sort of designed I designed the kit I wanted and it had certain colours in it. In fact, I've missed a bit. I've gone off too far. I'm already talking about buying stuff. I had to design the kit first. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to do my own personalised, customised kit. What I wanted to do was Subutio Collectors Old Subutio Club. So I went online. Normally, I will always drop every link of what I do and what I use in the description below, but I can't honestly remember this website. And I can't find it again. But I used the website to create this kit. You'll be able to see it. Hopefully, it's coming up over the screen now. That's what I wanted. But I kept going into the shops looking for the paint, the Hambro matte paint. I was told matte paint's best, so I went out to buy a matte paint. Couldn't find the colour I wanted, so I then popped into my local model shop in Southend and they showed me these paints. Uh, everyone told me afterwards they were quite good. What are they? Villaggio or Villaggio? They're good. So we've got, they're really good. I won't lie, they was more expensive than I thought. That's what we use for skin colour. We then got a black because we needed some black boots as well. We then got a brown for some hair. Obviously, of course, we got a white at the same time. We got a yellow, needed yellow goalkeeper's kits. We got the green, that was the closest I could get to the green I wanted. I was trying to get like Subutio green. As you can see, it's not the closest, but that was, that was the best I could get. And then we needed some red trim as well. So they're the paints we used. I then got told, brushes. I got told to buy, I've got them here for you. I then got told to buy, I can't remember what the size was, 101 maybe, it was really small. So I've got this paintbrush, which I believe was 101, yeah, it says 101 there. I've got a 101 paintbrush, which, I mean, Christ, look how thin that is. I'll be honest, I bought that thinking that would be too thin, so I then got two other brushes as well, knowing what I'm like. So these ones are, um, they say one Royal X25, I'll show them, I'll be honest, I don't really know. I'm not Mr. Model Man. I then also bought some varnish, so I got told we need some varnish as well. Don't know what, it, <laughs> what is it, right? So as I go like that. I feel like I'm gonna like spray paint all over a subway train, I say, in America. Makes me feel a little bit cool. I'm a loser, I know. But we got some varnish as well. So we got them, they went to one side, then we had to wait for the team to turn up. It's turned up, we unboxed it. Let's have a look. Okay, so first things first, obviously what I needed to make the team was gonna be, invoice out, was the, uh, was the team to paint. So we've got, Completely empty, so I ordered a uh, Zoego blank team. Let's have a look at them. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be interesting. So there's loads of different blank teams out there, but I thought I'd go with these because they look. I'll be honest, they were the cheapest. All right, but Subutio World ordered some numbers as well. Comes to them in a second. So we've got some bases. So what I thought was for the team colours. Oh, see, this is gonna be so hard for me. <laughs> look. You've got washers. You've got washers. Gonna be hell of it together. But when you order off of them, you can do, you can choose how many different color bases you want and how many different color, um, how many different color discs you want. And I thought, because you get 11, apparently you get 11 outfield players, one goalkeeper, 11 outfield players. Let's have a look at these. Oh, you know, you just, 
What have I let myself in for? What have I let myself in for? They're based on the heavyweights, I'm told. I'll tell you what. <laughs> How am I going to paint this? Oh no. So that, there he is, in all his uh, power glory. It does look very much like a uh, like an uh, original, well not an original heavyweight, but it looks very much like a heavyweight. We've got bases, like, like, like I was just saying, so we've got 11 bases, 9, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. So they let, yeah, they let you choose how many colour bases you want, but I thought we're going to have 10 outfield players, we're going to have a goalkeeper, so obviously we need a base for the freaking goalkeeper. So to go with that, we then went with the kit we're going for. We're going to have red discs in there. Should have 10 of them, let's count them out. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And then we've got a black base and a black keeper. So that being flicking keeper. And then I've got, oh, I'll tell you what, I've got no idea how to put these in together. I know the wash, I know where the washers go. Some of them already got the washers in. But I don't know whether I have to glue. I don't know. Obviously the players go in there, but I don't know whether I should glue them in. I'm obviously not going to glue them in yet. I'm going to paint them first. I also bought off of Subutia yeah, World because we want it to look real. We want it to look real. Yeah, team numbers. So the kit's going to be white. It's going to be on a white back, but I'm thinking we've got green, we've got red in the kit. Should we, uh, let's go with the red ones, right? So these are suddenly looking like the most impossible thing for me to paint. I'm really nervous about them. Oh, should we put the washers in? I'll tell you what, we'll stick the washers in and then we'll move on to the next stage, yeah? Let's do it, let's put these washers in. Now they flick. There's nothing in them. <laughs> Not very well. <laughs> I suppose there's nothing there. Actually, they don't flick too, no, do they? Hey, <laughs> it's just a bad flick by me in the first place. Hmm, okay. Well, let's get these washers in. Oh, there's the goalkeeper. I didn't say the goalkeeper either, did I? He's going to be a nightmare to paint, you can just tell, can't you? Does he come after that pig? Oh no, he's in now. He's fused in. Oh, I'm going to have to be well careful when I paint him. Well careful. That's not on. Oh, nightmare. Let's get his pegs back in. So there we go. We've got the team. We've got the paints. Better go and paint this bad boy, haven't we? So like I said, I've never really done anything like this before. I don't know how I'm doing it. I'm not very good at this stuff. So I thought the easiest way to do this, surely this has got to be the simplest way, is to build it up. So I started with the sort of bottom layer and worked my way up. That way, in my eyes, the top goes on and it should be less sort of cover-up job. So I started off with painting on the skin. I did two skin colours. I did white players and I did black players. So we started with a skin, I started painting the skin on, that was quite easy, wasn't the hardest thing in the world. I did try and avoid not doing any skin on the actual kit, because the main body of the kit was white. So after I'd done the skin, I then thought next obvious one, that'd be the hair. So I then did the hair, I then did the socks, and I then did the boots. We had to do the boots after the socks, obvious reasons, boots go on top of socks. Once I'd then done that, once I'd then painted them, I then looked to do the sleeves. The sleeves obviously go on top, so I then painted the sleeves. The sleeves went on, and then I was able to do the trim. It was, to be honest, it's a very simple process. I'm not very good at it. I actually found the goalkeepers a lot easier to paint, maybe because I had less detail, and it was just a yellow top and black shorts. Once I had the main body of that done, I was then able to put the players into the discs. So I got the players into the discs, and then when I had them in there, I was then able to just do any last little touch-ups around the edges. I didn't actually glue the players into the discs. They clicked in quite nicely. I found they had a really nice sort of click. Once I then touched them up, it was then time to go with a varnish. Nice bit of varnish on them. To be honest, I think at that point, I might have messed them up a little bit. I might have sprayed the varnish a little bit too close and now they've all got this frostiness on them that I actually can't get off. It's a bit annoying, but still, I'm not the best at this, remember what I said. So then they were varnished, the players were painted, two more jobs to go. After that, they had to go in. So we glued the washer in, and then after gluing the washers in, a little bit of super glue around the edge, and in went the disc, click, bang, done. That was the players done, one more thing to go. And then I had to put the numbers on. Ah, oh, so them stickers I bought, wow. 
They were incredibly hard to put on. They were really, really hard. I thought they'd be simple, bush, bush. I suppose in a technical world, I probably would have used a pair of tweezers that way, but I got them on there in the end. That was it, done. I suppose you want to have a look at them. <laughs> and here they are. The Subutio Collector Old Subutio Club. There they are, up close, labour. I'll tell you what, people say it's a labour of love. It was labour. People who say that it's relaxing doing this thing. Oh my God, it's not. It's the most stressful thing in the world. I don't think I'll be doing any more. There you go, painted up. We've got long sleeve ones. I've got short sleeve ones. All different types. I've got captain armbands. I've done different colour boots. I'm quite impressed with my goalkeeper. I've got a normal goalkeeper. I've also got, let me take this down. Let me take this. I've got a flicking goalkeeper as well. I'm actually more impressed with my goalkeepers all together, if I'm honest. I am a little disappointed, right? Because right at the end, a couple of people said to me, make sure you spray the varnish on them. Other people said, don't spray the varnish on them. Well, I wish I had listened to spray the varnish way too close and they'd have all got this like, misty look to them. If you're using matte paints, don't go spraying the varnish on them. I'm hoping the varnish comes off, but a couple of scratches and it has actually taken them off. So they are done. I suppose the next thing for me to do now is to release the actual football kit. Oh, imagine that. Imagine if I made the football kit. That'd be cool. In some upcoming videos, I might actually have a few little bits to show you, clothing-wise, but that could be quite cool. Into the Zawago box they go. Even got a little Sputio Collector sticker on there, something you might see in an upcoming video as well. Video that's already been recorded. Little shiny one on the back. Oh, cheeky. So there you go, there is my Subutio Collector, old Subutio team, on Zawago bases, Zawago U-Paint players, matte paints. I've even got the numbers on the back. They're, um, they're not easy to do, bloody impossible. But I love it, it's done, it goes in the collection. The most limited team I've got, because there's only one in the world, it's that unique, hand-painted. So I suppose I better get back to doing what I do best and buying stuff as opposed to making my own because that was so, 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 so stressful. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you all very soon with some more pure nostalgic joy, more Subutio, more unboxing, more about the product. Back up into the loft. I've got lots and lots planned, lots coming up. See you all very soon. As always, keep on flicking.